With the engine split into its three main parts, I'd planned to strip the pieces down further once I'd fitted the tow board. But with the rain being non-stop preventing me working outside and the pistons feeling a bit tighter in the block, I decided to get on with removing the crankshaft, the pistons and the camshaft, just in case leaving it would cause any potential problems in the future. Now I don't have an engine stand, so I had to make a bit of room to be able to work on it properly, and it's surprisingly heavy for such a small unit. It was nice to finally be able to see all the parts working in tandem. There's always mention of camshafts and pistons and cranks on the forums, but many mini owners have never even seen them up close, so I took a few minutes just to film this short clip, just because I thought it might be of interest. The first job was removing the nut on this pulley. It's free to rotate, so to lock it off I jammed a wooden mallet between the crankshaft and the block. I was expecting this to be tight, but it came off a lot easier than I expected. Now there is a locking washer tab to flatten but I forgot to do that but the nut still came off. I wasn't sure how the pulley came off so I had my manuals at the ready but ended up tapping it off with a soft rubber mallet. The timing cover is easy to remove and it's just held on by several small bolts and I tapped this off with the same soft mallet. Now here you can see the chain doing its job keeping the crankshaft and the camshaft in perfect timing. The tensioner came off first and was held on just by a couple of small bolts. Then after flattening the washer with a screwdriver and socket, I removed the nut from the end of the camshaft. Again I had to use the same mallet to stop the crank spinning. The timing gear is held on quite well, but came off after a bit of light persuasion. Then three bolts later the camshaft was ready for removal. To remove the plate it was just a case of removing the two bolts at the top.
Now apparently it's important to keep the parts of the con rods together and after talking with Paul Jeffries from Classic Mini Garage, I picked up the tip of marking them with a punch, something that was also confirmed after reading the manuals that I have at the side. So I just marked them in order from the pulley side from 1 to 4. I used a 12 point socket to remove the nuts from the conrod bolts. I didn't actually realise I had such a socket until I looked in my toolbox and found that the set I bought 30 years ago from the case catalogue were actually all 12 point sockets. The first piston that I removed took a few minutes to get out as I struggled to separate the pieces. But the next few were a lot easier after I remembered a tip that Paul Jeffries gave me of tapping the top of the nuts once you clear the thread at the top so as not to cause any damage. The main bolts were quite tight and I struggled with the small ratchet that I had so I ended up using the long bar which has been a really good purchase and once loose I was able to use the ratchet again and it wasn't long before the crankshaft was free. And I've got to admit that stripping the block wasn't as complicated as I thought it would be. Now a few videos back I ran a 2000 sub giveaway for personalised keyrings that I make. I hit the 2000 milestone a lot quicker than I expected and quite a few entered so I've decided to give away 3 keyrings as a way of saying thanks for the help and support on here and on the Facebook groups and the forums. So I'll hand you over to the missus who will pick 3 random names out of a cup and if the 3 winners want to get in touch then I'll sort out the keyrings as quickly as I can. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. 
Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics, and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interest and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support. 